I've got this large Excel spreadsheet. It has 279 tabs in it. Each tab um, is the income statement for, or the quarterly budget statement for municipality. Now, what if I wanted to find, to answer the question of, for instance, which municipality earns the most in property rates? As it currently stands, it's impossible to, to find the answer. So what I would like to do is merge all of the data into one sheet, and then it will be easy to run uh, sorting and filters, pivot tables, and all that sort of stuff. The question is, how do you go about doing that? That's where Open Refund comes in. Um, and this is basically something that I've recently learned, and uh, I think um, it's worth sharing. So let me show you. Create a new project, select my file, next. Yep, just give this thing a name. Right, so what you see is all the sheets in that Excel spreadsheet, uh, 279 of them. Um, I can't, I think you need to select them one by one. I haven't found a way of selecting them all at the same time. But um, let's just select a few of them for this demonstration. Okay, and there you go. Now you can see the this heading over here is not what I want. Let's look at the original file. Yeah. So that's row number one. That's row number two. Headers actually start in the third row, so that's what I'm going to tell Open to find to skip the first two rows. Okay, those are the headings that we want. Now, now that I've merged all of the sheets together, I still need to know which municipality a particular row belongs to, and that's where this checkbox comes in. It will recall which file and which sheet uh, a particular row came from, because you can merge multiple files. So in this case, the first row, this is the name of the file, and then there's a hash, and then the name of the sheet. So that's exactly what we need to do. Let's create this project. Okay, first thing is I want to extract the municipality. So let's create a new column based on this column. Uh, and what I'll do is I'll split uh, the value here by the hash and take the, the thing after the hash. So here I can say return value dot split, split by the hash, and return the second item. Let's call it I say the second item because it's zero index, so the zeroth item gives you the first bit. So the second item, the first item will give you the second bit. Okay, so we have a new column, municipality. I can delete this column. And there we have it. Uh, let's just have a quick look to see that it's done what it needed to do. Yep, so I have 60 rows for each one of the municipalities. If I wanted to see values for a particular municipality, say this one, I click on it, and there you go. Open Refine, it continues to be a really awesome tool, and uh, this one has really saved me quite, quite a bit of time. Hopefully you can find it useful.